All right, so over the past year, I got some emails regarding Matrix and sort of what's it used for and how you're really supposed to use it. So this is a video covering the Matrix on an analog console as well as a digital console. Let's take a look at the analog solution to a Matrix first, and then we'll take a look at a digital solution. All right, the matrix is sort of like an aux end. Now, let me get my pointer here. Right over here is the matrix. And on analog consoles, this would be called, on this particular console, this is called a seven by four matrix. And what that means, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, We've got seven inputs, and you have one, two, three, four, four outputs. So you've got a seven by four matrix. This bottom knob over here is the level, is the master level for anything that comes into the matrix. For example, this matrix number one, we could use that for a center fill, use matrix number two, let's say for a side fill, for left side of the stage, we could use another matrix channel here for the uh, right side of the stage. And if we wanted to, we could use the last matrix for a videographer when they're requesting a feed off the board. The matrix consists of a mix of all the different mixes that may be going on with the console. So this matrix can support an input from the rear of the console, which is the external. And then you can mix in subgroups one, two, three, and four. And you can mix in what is going out the left and right main front of house mix. So if you run your board using subgroups, which are down here, let's back out just a little bit here. This particular console has four subgroups. These subgroups correlate directly with these blue knobs over here. So group one, two, three, and four. So whatever level that we have that's going on with this particular subgroup is sent to the matrix and then we can take this signal and send it out someplace different. So for this matrix, whatever goes to the subgroups and whatever's being sent out front of house, that's what we can mix into it. We can't mix any of the aux sends. And also we cannot mix any of the individual channels like you can on most digital boards. All right, so for this setup, we're just gonna uh, get a mic running through the system and we're gonna assign a particular channel into a subgroup, we'll use subgroup number one, and then we'll get the signal sent out of the board using the matrix. All right, here we have our mic cable connected to it. Looks like it's a uh, number nine we're gonna be using. And over here on the back of the console, you can see all of the quarter inch outputs. So up here where it says matrix on this particular board, matrix, here are the externals you can send to the matrix, and here are the outputs. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect a cable into matrix one. All right, now that we have the cables connected, let's give this a try. Matrix mix on this particular board is only can only use the subgroups, whatever's external to it, as well as the left and right main. One of the shows we did a few years ago using our larger Soundcraft board, we use the matrix on that board to provide a center fill as well as an audio feed to the videographer. And in that particular event, for the videographer, all they wanted was the main feed out of the board, like a front of house feed. And then they would take care of doing any kind of EQing on their end in post-production. All we had to do was provide them the main front of house signal and then they took that into their recorder unit. 
So in our responsibility for the center fill setup was just to maintain the volume level, a reasonable volume level for the center fill. And anytime the videographers requested either uh, more signal or less signal from us, all we had to do was just make a quick adjustment on, on the matrix feed. We need to set up a subgroup so we can uh, utilize the matrix for it. So we're on channel nine, test one, two, 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 where's our nine at? Right there, test one, two, two, one, two, there we go. We'll get a good, there we go. That'll work for this. All right, let's take this uh, channel and let's assign it to um, subgroup number one. So we're gonna punch our uh, subgroup buttons. One is on the left, we'll pan to the left. Okay, this signal is now routed to uh, subgroup number one. Okay, so our signal is now routed over to here. Test one, two. So let's just bring up subgroup number one, test one, two. Now that channel line is now going into subgroup number one. All right, now that it's routed into subgroup number one, all we need to do, let's get a sort of a volume set here, a main output volume for this particular matrix channel. One, two. We're going to go up to subgroup number one, test one, two, test one, two. And I've got a PA speaker sitting up for it. Test one, two. And that's all there is to uh, really work in a matrix. And if we had other instruments, uh, like, as I said, vocals and stuff like that, we can just add them up into the other matrix uh, inputs for this particular matrix channel. Once again, this is a small matrix, but um, it, it actually functions very well. Now, not all analog consoles provide a matrix functionality. Usually it's the larger uh, channel count, the larger frame consoles will. All right, let's say that um, we don't have any instruments in a subgroup, we don't want to use a subgroup. That's fine, because uh, you can still grab the left and right main outputs on it. So we're gonna bring that down, take it out of the subgroup, and we've removed it from the subgroup. And we are going to, yeah, let's do that. We've got that set up now to do a, uh, throughout the signal to the left and right main output. So we've got this down, we'll take that out of it. We're going to take that down. We're gonna keep the volume level where it is. And what we're gonna do is turn up our left and right. So now there's no subgroup going on with it. Test one, two, test, 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 one, two. Test one, two. Our main left and rights are up. Now we just need to bring up the channel as we normally would. Test one, two, check, 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 one, two. All right, and that is the same signal going through the main left and right and being routed through the matrix. It's that simple. So that's how you can use a matrix, grabbing just a left and right signal. All right, let's take a look at a digital console to see what the differences are. All right, for the uh, digital example on a matrix, we're gonna use our Presonus 32. The only thing that we have connected right now is our microphone. We do not have any main outs or a matrix out or anything like that. Check, 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 one, two. Okay, I think that'll work fine for this. All right, so it's a little bit more involved in trying to get a, a matrix set up on a digital console. All right. To set up the matrix, we can use any one of these mix buttons over here to do this. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use mix 11. So I'm going to select that and we're going to come over here and we are going to under the flex mix mode, we're going to select matrix which this should turn green and it does and if we look back down here our button is now green indicating this is a matrix mix okay now that we've selected uh, mix 11 to use as the matrix we just need to connect a cable XLR cable into output number 11 but uh, the difference here also is that we do not need to use 
this adapter. This was the adapter that we used for the analog board because it was a quarter inch. So we're going to use a regular cable and we're going to go into Mix 11. All right, now that we are in output number 11, we can send any one of these aux mixes to the matrix. Now, you'll probably notice that one of these is blank. It's blank because this would be aux 11, which is the one we're using. You can't send the same aux mix to itself. That's the reason why that one is blank. But we can also do uh, the other aux mixes. Over here we've got the subgroups in these three mixes here. We've got the regular onboard subgroups over here, and we can also send the main mix. Now we can also send individual channels to the matrix as well, which is what you see here is back over on one. What was that? That was a got a kick, snare, that's the hat, high tom, mid tom. Okay, we can send all the other channels into the matrix as well. And we also can send the effects returns into the matrix also. So it is, it's actually very extensive what you can send to the matrix. Let's get channel line into, coming out into that matrix output. All right, test one, two. We'll select the matrix. We want channel nine. There we go, it's gonna be all the way over here. All right, it's over here, so we're going to bring that up and check, check, check. This is our main matrix output. Test one, two. Test one, two. Right there, that's the main output. Test one, two. You can send a center fill. You can send side fills. You can send a broadcast feed. You can send something to a videographer. A matrix feed is like a uh, glorified aux mix. All right, so uh, one of the powers of using a digital console and a, a matrices is, uh, let's see, I've got the, the channel select over here, the one that I'm actually using. Uh, if I select mix 11, there we go, which is the matrix that we're on. Uh, we've got a parametric EQ that we can use. We can roll off, make a high pass filter out of it. That's got a limiter on it. Uh, you can actually control a lot of different things with that signal that's leaving the console through a matrix, which you can do that on an analog board, but it does require outboard gear. So it is a little bit more to set it up uh, on a digital console than it is an analog console, but I think the benefits, uh, benefits are much greater using a digital board versus an analog board for a matrix. So to break down a matrix, now on the analog board, which I didn't show, there's really nothing to do with uh, breaking down a, a matrix feed. All you gotta do is just turn down the knobs if you wanted to, or you can just unplug it from the back and your, your matrix is done. But what we wanna do is we want to free up this, uh, the matrix, the mix 11 for it. So what we're gonna do is just Remove it as a uh, remove it as a matrix, and we're going to send it back to an aux mix. So all we got to do is select ROM mix 11. As you can tell, their MTX stands for a matrix, but we're on mix 11. We're going to go to the gear icon. We're going to set it back to a regular aux, and you can tell our aux. We're back to yellow. All right, well that's about it, setting up a matrix on a Personas console. All right, well I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.